There are 11 female coaches in the NBA, one in MLB, zero in the NHL, and just about a half dozen in the NFL. While the NBA is clearly ahead of the curve on this, all four professional sports leagues still have a long way to go on hiring more women in coaching positions. I, however, would like to focus on the NFL. Football is my first love and favorite sport. To be able to be a coach on a team one day would be incredible. These women I'm about to introduce you to are the ones pushing the envelope for people like me who hope to one day be in their position. The NFL and their respective teams have made great strides towards hiring more women on teams at scouts and working in various other fields within the organization. But there is still a small number of women on the sideline that aren't their sideline reporters. To continue moving forward, we need to go back and remember who began this journey and Jen Walter understand that the first NFL game with female coaches on both sidelines just took place a few weeks ago and how Katie Towers became the first female and openly gay coach in the Super Bowl. We begin with the NFL's female coach pioneer in Jen Walter. In 2015, at 37 years old, Jen Walter was hired by Bruce Arians and the Arizona Cardinals. This was unprecedented at the time, and Walter became the first female coach in NFL history. Walter was hired as an assistant coach during the summer, which is when training camp takes place for every team. Walter had played football herself on multiple women's semi-professional and professional teams, even being a part of the U.S. team that won the title in 2010 and 2013, before being invited by a men's team, the Texas Revolution, of a men's indoor league. She was the first female to ever play running back in the men's league after playing defense her entire career. She would go on to join the Revolution's coaching staff before she heard Bruce Arians say, quote, a woman can coach in the NFL, so as long as she can make players better. She stepped her foot in the door and history was made. She was well received by coaches and players alike. While Welter wasn't picked up by an NFL team following her time with the Cardinals, she opened the door for so many other women looking to break into the league. This brings me to the very first NFL game with two female coaches, as well as a female official, back on September 27th of this year. The game was between the Washington football team and the Cleveland Browns. The official, Sarah Thomas, had made history in 2019 as the first woman to officiate an NFL playoff game. She's been an official for a few years now. On the Washington sideline, is, is full-year coaching intern Jennifer King. This is King's first full season coaching in the NFL, but she isn't new here, however. <laughs> she had interned with the Carolina Panthers back in 2018 and 2019 while Ron Rivera was still head coach there. Rivera decided to bring her back on his staff as he made the move from Carolina to Washington. King was also an offensive assistant at Dartmouth College and the assistant wide receivers coach and special teams assistant in the short-lived Alliance of American Football, or AAF. So you may have heard of her even before now, uh, as she was with the Arizona Hotshots. On the Cleveland Browns sideline is Callie Brownson. Like the other woman mentioned, Brownson also played football into her middle school years before shifting her focus to softball. She didn't think she'd see the field again until, the last, until a last-minute tryout with the DC Divas of the Women's Football Alliance. Brownson would go on to play for eight years between 2010 and 2017. She won a gold medal with Team USA in 2013 and 2017 as a safety, running back, and slot receiver. Brownson was a college and professional, college slash professional personnel scouting intern in 2017, then a Buffalo Bills coaching intern in 2019 before coming to Cleveland. Coach Kevin Stefanski of the Browns said that Brownson is, quote, really the liaison to the rest of the building for me, and that he relies on her for pretty much everything. Hopefully this is just the beginning of women coaching on the sidelines of all 32 teams. Finally, I wanted to tell you about Katie Sowers. You may have heard of Sowers as she made history this past February as the NFL's first female and openly gay coach to coach in the Super Bowl. Sauer's journey, like Walter, King, and Brownson, was not easy. She, turned down, she was turned down from a volunteer coaching job because she was lesbian, but that only motivated her to go further. In 2013, she won a gold medal with the U.S. national team at the Women's World Championships. 
Severus had five interceptions. Three of them were pick sixes, which means she brought him back to a, for a touchdown for her team. Before joining San Francisco, Severus was with, was with Atlanta during the 2016 offseason, quote, organizing, conducting, and concluding practice drills. She would then spend the following nine months with the Falcons as a scouting intern. Sowers joined the 49ers as an offensive assistant in 2017 and, quote, helped propel an offensive attack that was second in rushing and second in points during the regular season. For those of you that watch football, I think we all remember how electric the San Francisco 49ers offense was, and she played a huge role in that. Unfortunately, the 49ers would go on to lose the Super Bowl to Kansas City and Patrick Mahomes ultimately, but Sowers still made her mark all the same. Perhaps more history can be made this season if the Tampa Bay Buccaneers get to the Super Bowl. And that's not only for playing a Super Bowl in their home stadium. They would be the first to do so. As the Bucs are, per the team website, quote, the only NFL team with two full-time female coaches and assistant defensive line coach, Lori Locus, and assistant strength and conditioning coach, Maral Jevedefar. Women can be coaches in the NFL. Just because we may not have played the game or played in a women's only league doesn't mean myself or other women don't know what they're talking about. Jen Welser pioneered the pushing of the envelope to hire more women in the NFL during her time with the Cardinals, which led to the very first NFL game with a female coach on each team's sideline, and not to mention a female official, and Katie Sauer's history-making appearance in the Super Bowl. The NFL must continue to move the needle on hiring more women as coaches. Walter, King, Brownson, and Sowers all made history the NFL is first, but they won't be the last. Thank you.